and we're back. Today we're gonna look in the fridge. It's been a while. Let's see if there's any cake we can devour. An open bag of Nanako snacks. Mwahaha. And a sticker. Are you kidding me? We needed this like how long ago? I wish I had looked in the gosh darn fridge. <sighs> Hopefully we'll be able to give this to the boy tomorrow then. And finish that quest. It's been sitting in finish forever now. Or might not be able to. Man, this fog just won't quit. You can tell me that twice. The weather report said it might start snowing soon. But what's going to happen if it snows with all this fog? Lots of accidents, Yosuke, my boy. Whoa! Where'd you guys come from? Hmm, Abakoiki. Wow, that's quite a crowd you got there. We ran into each other back there, so we came together. The fog's so thick that sometimes you can't see your nose in front of your face, so everyone's forming groups now. Yeah, there's safety, safety in numbers, I see why. It's definitely been weird lately. It's so cold, too. Visibility's so bad, it's scary. Can I stick close to you, senpai? <laughs> okay, just don't even... whatever. Ugh, this girl never changes. At least she knows what she wants, and that's the Soji. It really is hard to see anything in this, though. It's just like on the other side. Exactly. Wait a second. G guys, put on your glasses! I was right, wasn't I? Oh my gosh. Yep. So it turns out that's fog from the other side. All clear. What the hell's going on? I'm at a loss for words too, Yosuke. How should I know? These glasses are meant to help us see through the fog in the other world. But putting that aside, no glasses would improve one's visibility in a fog under normal circumstances. That's my point. This has to be fog from the other world, that means. Then, um... Could the fog from over there be leaking into our world? My thoughts exactly, G.A. Huh? You guys think that's it? I was kind of expecting you to ignore it as G.A. being random again. No, you're probably right on the money. It's just a thought. <laughs> I did remember hearing about that rumor of the Midnight Channel, I think it was Inaba being engulfed in fog. Didn't like that one bit. Anyways, today's the last day of exams, right? Let's get them over with so we can meet up at the special headquarters after school. That's a good plan. <laughs> wow, we haven't used that name in a while. God, that makes it even worse, because now we can confirm that it's fog from another world just with those glasses. Last day of the exams, we were familiar with every question. You'll feel confident about your answers. And as always, probably not going to get top because I didn't answer all the questions correctly. Not really a big deal out of their knowledge is maxed. I don't really care for any items. Hey, here's a story about the fog. Um... Some specialists are raising concerns that this fog may consist harmful substances. More and more citizens are calling for an investigation into the cause of the fog and the facts about it. Though the government has begun its preliminary investigation, many feel that the causes will be hard to pinpoint. Huh. Is this fog really dangerous? Well, we did go over there and we almost collapsed for a minute last time. Well, when we first went into the fog world, that is. You hardly ever see people walking around town anymore. Or here, either. Everyone's too scared of the fog now to go outdoors much. It does seem a lot like the fog on the other side. Even Teddy's saying that. But beyond that, I'm clueless. There's another item of note here. A summary of Namatame's career with details about the case. The suspect was having an affair with the first victim. It seems she was killed due to relationship troubles. Also in April, Miss Saki Kamishi's body was discovered. 
the police are looking into a motive for the murder. In July, a boy living in Inaba performed a copycat murder. The boy was initially thought to be the culprit behind all the killings, but later suspicion was thrown upon Namatami. Last month, the suspect attempted to kidnap a seven-year-old girl of Inaba, resulting in his arrest. It seems Namatame is still confined to his hospital bed, so further interrogation has yet to commence. Understandable. So it's finally over. A lot of stuff's happened. But all that's left is for the police to build a case for Namatame, right? Well, can they even prove anything? That is a good question. I'm sure your uncle can. The stuff he was saying was so obviously nuts. If he says anything about the TV world, he might be considered mentally unstable. And then he might get an easy sentence. Oh, crap. I didn't know... <laughs> that actually didn't come occur to me until right now. Also, I heard before that if the police don't have enough hard evidence, it's difficult to build a case. That's another point. Yes. There are many such cases and culprits. It's the eternal conundrum for crime investigators. So even if they're caught, the law can't do shit? It's a possibility. Hell's up with that! It's our corrupt justice system. You gotta love it, Kanji. I'm kidding, but it can be corrupt sometimes. We all know he did it! You can't just let a maniac who thinks he's saving people by killing them run wild on the streets! Well, we know that, but we got no proof. We need the proof to confine him. They better not dismiss something this serious because of some mental issues. Saki senpai I hope they don't, but chances are high that they will. No, not just her. Or that announcer. Even King Moron is his fault. If it weren't for what he did, nobody would have tried a copycat killing. It's his fault Nanako-chan's in the hospital right now, too. Oh yes, let's go buy the expensive one. What's the matter? Explain, explain. We need to go get a kotatsu. A kotatsu? Oh, then why don't we go check them out right now? I know Nanako-chan would be psyched if she came home and found a new kotatsu. Dude, why didn't you tell me sooner? The winter season's coming up and we just got a bunch of them in stock. All right, off to the houseware section for Nanako-chan! Huzzah! Charge! Look for the biggest price tag. Wait a second. It's coming out of Gina's pocket, so I'm not too worried. If we're getting a Kotatsu, we'd better get some oranges to complete the set. It's a cliche because it's true, damn it. <laughs> The best compliment to a kotatsu would be a heated rug. And it's also a great way to burn a hole right in our wallet, isn't it? Well, in this case, Dojima's wallet. Dude, that much juice would kill the breaker the moment you tried to microwave something. <laughs> um, maybe. Depends on the house. Oh yeah, you've never used a kotatsu before, huh, Ted? It's nice and toasty. Oh... Can I still stay here? You kept your promise to me, so I should be going back. What, Teddy, no! But I don't want to go until Nanachan gets better. Of course you can stay. How many times do we have to say this before it gets through to you? Nanako-chan would be sad if you weren't there when she wakes up. But... I couldn't save Nana-chan. Don't be silly. We saved her together. We caught the killer, man. We couldn't have done that without you. Teddy, you shouldn't talk that way when Nanako-chan is still fighting. You guys. You can stay here, buddy. Sensei, I'm so touched. Give me a I'll stay by your side until Nanako-chan comes home, Sensei. Damn right. Give me a hug, brother. Oh, that's right. There's no one but you at your place. Hey, why don't we pick out a Christmas present for Nanako-chan while we're at it? That's a great idea, GA. Oh, that 
That's a great idea. I'm sure she'll be out of the hospital by then. All right, but none of this charge it to Yosuke stuff this time. Seriously. We're clear on this, right? <laughs> oh, Crystal. Oh, come on. Why would we do something like that? <laughs> really, Gia? You did it last time. Dude, the clothes you got for this guy? I almost pissed my pants when I saw the receipt. What's your ghost game pissing his pants in this game? Gosh. How many days do you think I had to work to pay that off? Well, I can't help it if Juness overcharges for things. Oh, uh, she kind of got him there. Ugh. Well, I guess you gotta expect that. It's not like Chia-san's ever had the occasion to help a guy shop before. Oh, that's a low blow. <gasps> what? What did you just say? Come on, baby. Don't fight over me. Oh, don't you start, Daddy. Stay out of this! Oh, poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's leave them be and think of a present for Nanako-chan on our own. That's a good plan, Rize. But what would a girl her age want? What do you think Nanako-chan would appreciate most? Jack Frost doll. Hee ho! Yeah, that, that white round shape's the best. A plush doll's the way to go. <laughs> oh, God, you rule. You know how I think. All right, as soon as Nanako-chan's out of the hospital, we'll have a party at your place. Yes, and we'll bake the cake. No, you won't. Of course. No, don't touch my oven. Let's make it a cake to remember. No, no, we banned them from her kitchen. No. No, you're not! Are you trying to send Nanako-chan back to the hospital? No, he gets a lie. Dachi, what do you want? Hello, this is Adachi. Um, I want you to stay calm and listen to me, okay? Nanako-chan's condition suddenly got worse. I can't stay calm after the hearing that. Oh, I'll try. The doctor wants you to come to the hospital immediately. We'll be waiting. Uh, okay, off we go. Hurry up, everyone. Come on, let's go! Gosh, gosh darn it. We should have fun too, and then more sadness. Oh no. Just when I thought every Just when I thought everything was getting better. No. No, no, no. Doctor! This fog is poisonous, isn't it? Isn't it filled with viruses? They said so on TV! Isn't there a vaccine or something for it? Yes, crazy lady, believe everything on TV. That's the way to go, you sheeple. Calm down, please. That's just a rumor. Don't tell me to calm down. You're lying. We know you have medicine for this. Dead people wouldn't be suffering, Jack Wagons. Are you just going to stand there and watch us die? Why would we do something like that? What a commotion. I guess they're the public. They'll always get rowdy like that when they hear something. What the hell's that supposed to mean? Can't you see how much pain she's in? All we can do right now is monitor her condition closely. <laughs> Dojima-san, you need to return to your... I don't give a damn about myself. Do something about Nanako. Oh, poor Dojima. <sighs> Dojima-san! Just save her. For God's sake, please save Nanako. We'll do our best. I must ask you to step outside for the time being. Yes, sir. Do your best, please. Nanako. Nothing more we can do. Just hope for the best. Like, things are just getting better, I thought, and this happens. Gosh, damn. Hey, can't you do something? Yosuke, please don't go off on him and make this even sadder. This all has to do with the world you came from. Can't you figure something out? I'm thinking, I'm thinking, but... 
damn it. Why does this have to happen to a little girl like her? Why? We all feel the same way. Why'd it turn out like this? Nanako-chan's gonna be okay, right? I sure hope so. That little girl is tough as nails. The toughest one we know. She better be okay after this. You guys still here? How is Dojima-san doing? His wounds opened up again. They're treating it over in his room now. Any luck with your investigation on Namatame? Um, about that. I won't mince words here. We're gonna have a hard time making these charges stick. What's that mean? I talked with the guys at the station, and it'll be next to impossible to find them guilty in court. Wow, our fears, our biggest fears were realized, it seems. That just sucks. I hope that isn't the case. Especially given the reason why we took him off our list of suspects for the first case. Oh yeah, something about him having an alibi. Doesn't make any... It doesn't make it any better for us. Yeah, that. And the whole angle about him putting people into TVs, there's no way that'll stand up in court. No one would believe that. What the public wants is when, where, and how Namatame killed these people. And Dojima-san knows it. Well, ain't you calm about this? I'm just telling you the truth. And you call yourself a cop? Huh? You wanna see that stuff so bad, we'll show you! Hurry up and bring a TV here, damn it! That's one way to do it, but I don't think it'll work. If we put him in the TV, we'll have to put a million people in the TV, and that'll never work out. Hey, stop! What the? What's happening now? Is Nanako-chan's family here? Yes, right here. Hurry inside. Please talk to her. Oh no, please don't be anything bad. Please, please, please. What this music hell? doesn't... What's going on? Sorry for interrupting Yosuke, but come on, no! No... Nanako-chan... Please don't like this be something bad. Please, please, please! Oh. Daddy... Breaking my heart all over again. Hang in there! <laughs> Nanako-chan! Nanako-chan! Can you hear us? Do you understand what we're saying? Your big brother's here with you. Just hang in there. <laughs> Where's Dojima-san? We're calling for him right now. How's Nanako? Doctor. <sighs> Big bro. Gotta hang on, your dad's coming. Nanako. I'm scared. Big bro. Dad. Daddy. No. Nanako! <clears throat> Nanako! Gotta, gotta not cry. Gotta not cry. I'm sorry, sir. No! 
<laughs> she isn't helping. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it! Nana Chan. Why? We did everything we could, but we still couldn't figure out what caused this. Where's he going? just sitting gosh darn it I almost cried again Dojima-san what's with that look huh what's wrong everyone hmm huh? wait is is Nanaka-chan but then where did Dojima-san go his room isn't that way. Wait a sec. That's the way to... Senpai! Senpai! What's wrong? Dojima-san might have gone after Namatame! Are you kidding me? Adachi-san said he was admitted to this hospital! You transported into the same hospital? For crying out loud, he's the suspect in the case! What are you getting mad at me for? This is the biggest hospital, and he's in no condition to be moved. Where's his room? This is probably what we should be asking. We need to stop Dojima before he does something he'll regret. I can't tell you that! Just tell us where he is already! Dojima's son's on his way, ain't he? You don't know what he's gonna do there if we don't stop him! Kanji-kun, you don't mean... He means exactly that, Chie. Yeah, hold on. Just what are you guys talking about? Cough it up! Where's this room? <laughs> Top floor in the second surgical ward. Furthest room back. Don't screw with Kanji. But, there's a police guard. Kanji knows how to get stuff out of people. I'll give him that. Murder's never the answer, and I hope, I hope Dojima doesn't resort to it. I... I was always watching over Nana-chan, and I still couldn't save her. It happened in my world. Even though I was the only teddy in that place, I still couldn't do anything. I... I... Teddy. That's right, we didn't see him grieve yet. He's probably taking this as hard as everyone else. Let go of me. I need to speak to him. Like we said, without permission. Mission. Who gave the permission to kill Nanako? Tell me that, huh? The hell with you all! Why is he still alive when Nanako's dead? Give me back Nanako! Give her back! She's... She's all I have! She's... I, the only one in the world! Call a doctor! Let go of me. I need to... Holy crap! Dojima-san! Quick, get him to his room! I'll go alert the doctors! All we need is blood and that would have been even scarier. Imagine he opened up those wounds again. Wait a second. 
Dojima-san, was he seriously gonna... <sighs> His only daughter's dead. Nothing would have surprised me. Dojima-san probably knew that there's little to no chance Namatame would be convicted. And he didn't have a whole lot to lose anymore. He's a man that has nothing. And that's when a man's his most dangerous. Damn it. He killed Senpai. And now Nanako-chan. And the bastard's gonna walk away without paying for what he did! That's not right! It's not. <laughs> Why? Why is he the one that gets to go on living? Hmm? What the hell was that? Oh, don't tell me the bugger's trying to escape. That window's open. <laughs> trying to escape, hmm? I... I... You have your life, and now you want your freedom too?! It's your fault that Nanako Jun's! I... I didn't... I... What the... 12 o'clock... Is it the Midnight Channel? How in the hell's a shadow working without him around? Hey, isn't this... Is this what happens when we don't kill a shadow? I thought we... Um, no, I was almost certain we destroyed it. What is happening? I failed to save her. It's, it's because, because you got, got in my, my way. way. Another Namatame? How? The real one's right here and we already beat his shadow! That's why I'm confused, too. Wait. His, him and his shadow were one last time, too. What's going on? No. Come to think of it, Namatame never faced his other self. I did question that, actually. And we didn't witness his shadow returning to his body as a persona, either. Perhaps that's why we're seeing this now. What the... I failed, but it wasn't my fault. And the law can't touch me anyway. What? Is that what Namatame's really thinking? Then he wasn't deranged or anything. He knew what he was doing. To hell with the law! I will never forgive what you did! This... Please! Stop! Huh? Stop what? We ain't even done anything yet. Or do you want us to do something? Something fitting for a bastard like you? Kanji... <sighs> do whatever you want. You hate me because the child died, don't you? I don't want to throw you at the window. But then we'd be as bad as you. I don't care either way. Living or dying makes no difference to me. But you, you're different. <laughs> you can't do such a thing. You wouldn't dare, right? It's got me. I wouldn't. <laughs> I'll continue saving people. It's my mission. We can't let them keep doing this. Mission? My god. Please, stop. He wants us to stop. What should we do? What do you mean? We can't let this bastard do whatever he pleases. We can't just kill him either, though. Still, what are you going to do? No way I'm gonna walk out of here doing nothing. Understand. But... I have a feeling I know what they're gonna do. This must be a luxury suite. Most hospital wards don't have such large televisions. Why, with something like this in the room, this man could escape at any time. Although once he enters, he may find there's no way out. Wait a second. You don't mean... 
It's exactly like I thought. Are you serious? You're just gonna turn your back and walk away? That's... but... What's gotten into you guys? This is crazy! How can we do something like that? Cheer! Everyone, listen to me. If we're gonna do this, now is our only shot. We won't get a second chance. At this rate, the guy's gonna get off the hook, and he'll go around saving people again. You just heard what this bastard's really thinking. If that happens, it'll be just like Nanako-chan and Senpai. Who knows how many innocent people will die this time? I can't let something like that go. Someone close to me died. Her killer can't be convicted. And now I'm gonna let the same thing happen again? There's no way I can do that! It's just wrong, isn't it? But... but... Yosuke! All we have to do is push him inside the TV. That's it. We do that one thing, and this is all over. Just... push him inside? Just one easy push and it's all gone. If any of you want no part in this, just leave the room. I'm not gonna force you to stay. As for me, nothing can make me forgive this bastard. But before we do this, I wanna hear what you think. What do you wanna do, leader? As tempted as I am to push him in the TV and get my revenge, I think we should wait a second. We don't have time to wait! If we don't do this now, the cops will come back! What are you trying to say? We're missing something. Something's been bothering me. I, if he said he'd save her, I, I don't think he would do this. There has to be something more to this. Something... Something bigger than what we're thinking. That guy... The TV was almost taunting us to push him in it. Or the Namatame on the TV. We're definitely missing something here. Something we don't know! WHAT DON'T WE KNOW?! His true feelings... BUT WE JUST HEARD THE GUY'S TRUE FEELINGS ON TV! I don't think we can trust that at this point. WHAT DIDN'T YOU UNDERSTAND?! Something's bothering me, like I said. WELL, WHAT IS IT?! I already told you there's no time to waste! Are you even getting at something here, or are you just stalling? I said we're missing something, Yosuke. Missing? Like what exactly? Damn it, I've heard enough of this bullshit! Give me a straight answer! Are we doing this or not? That's all I give a damn about right now! Calm the hell down, Yosuke. to make them stop is to spit venom. I'm gonna do it. He's right. Let's all calm down for a second. Don't let anger crowd cloud our judgment. I'm perfectly calm. Hey, what did you mean by we're missing something? What's there to miss with a sick bastard like him? Hey, let's all take a deep breath. After what happened to Nanako-chan, and seeing Dojima-san, we're not thinking straight right now. That's my thinking. We give in to anger at this point. It's not gonna be anything good that come of it. Fine. <sighs> You're right. We should calm down and think rationally about this. I realize now that we've heard almost nothing from Namatame's perspective. There's no denying that this man brought great harm to Nanako-chan. But other than that point, the rest comes from our assumptions based on watching the Midnight Channel a moment ago. I won't deny that we were blinded by the heat of the moment, trying to impute all responsibility to him rashly. But... Yeah, the guy's not saying anything. Whatever reason he had, there's no doubt about the fact that he'd been throwing people inside the TV. It was him who put Senpai through that misery. 
How can we possibly understand someone who says killing people is the same as saving them? Failing to understand and failing to listen are rather different things. <clears throat> Truthfully, not all the hitches that were nagging at me have been answered yet. We'll have to see what he can tell us about them. Though it appears he's in no condition to do so at the moment. True. Dealing with him right now might not solve all the things that are bothering us. Now that I'm actually uh, a little calmed down, I'll say something. That, that's my point. I've had so many questions about why he did it, what's going on, and what's with that shadow? It's just, it's all bothering me. Damn it. But you better remember this. I'll do everything I can to stop him from repeating what he's done. Anytime, anywhere. I feel the same way. We can't let him do that, but for now, we need to just step back and take a look at the bigger picture. Jeez. How the hell can you stay so calm, man? I was about to rip his head off a second ago. Then again, that's why you're our leader. <sighs> Alright. Let's go ahead and think this through as much as we need. If we leave any unanswered questions behind, we'll just be lying to ourselves. Yep. We're searching for the truth after all. Yeah, that ain't gonna cut it. Alright, I'm convinced. <sighs> Thank you. I'll think as hard as I can and try to help. We all know how you feel, Yosuke. Come on, we've accomplished this much together, haven't we? Right. Together. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. And thanks. You're welcome, man. What a bro's for. We could have just made a horrible mistake there. I almost got caught up in the moment and... <laughs> Through the guy out the window. That's what I wanted to do, not the TV. But the TV's probably a more rational way to kill him, anyways. That way we don't get in trouble. But then I feel terrible about that. Well, that's the max fool. That means we're getting closer to solving this mystery. Damn right, we can use Loki now. What's this? Is this the judgment? I have a feeling we'd have the judgment. Yep. Just like in Persona 3 when we were ascending the final steps. Seekers of the truth. Like the song says, reach up to the- Hey, you guys? What are you doing? You can't be in here. Alright, um... Oh crap! Hi! We were keeping an eye on the suspect. The police officers outside seem to have their hands full helping Dojima-san. If Namatame were to escape, it would be a disaster for the police's reputation. And their trust in you, Adachi-san. Oh, I see. We'll tighten security from now on, and I'll arrange for him to be transported out as soon as possible. So... If you guys can keep quiet about being in here, I'd really appreciate it. For now, we will. How is he, Doctor? He seemed to be extremely agitated a moment ago. He seems fine for now, but he really needs his rest. Outside, everyone. Doctor's orders. Yes, Doctor. Understood. We should go, too. Let's get back to Nanako-chan's room. That's right. My heart just sank like a good ten feet hearing that. Mm. He's got a pair of specs. So what's this thing we're missing, huh? To tell the truth, there's something that's bothering me too. Why did he start killing people in the first place? One of many things nagging at us. Well, he said himself it was to save them, right? So he killed his lover in order to save her and kept going? It doesn't fit to what he was saying, though. 
The police speculated the first murder was related to the affair, so they called in Namatame for questioning. Not to mention, I'm pretty sure Naoto said he had an alibi. A very sound one at that. But everything in his testimony and his bearing, no matter what they looked at, they found nothing suspicious. If he truly is twisted enough to believe that murder is a means of saving people, I think that would have shown through. Maybe he faked it real well. Or maybe he started out with a normal motive and got a taste for killing after the first time. No, if that were the case, his motive for killing that announcer would be even more inexplicable. Namatame and his wife were separated at the time. Both Misuzu Hiragi and himself testified that she had discarded him. Hiragi also knew about Yamano beforehand, and Namatame was shocked to hear of Yamano's death. Their relationship was known and was not strained to the point of murder. There's simply no motive in the affair angle. The police invested a great deal of effort into investigating this point. Therefore, we have no convincing motive for Namatame to kill Mayumi Yamano. So he's saying it wasn't Namatame. I mean, she's saying, sorry. Although, her name was written in Namatame's own diary. His reason for killing her. It's still possible that he was crazy to begin with and no one realized, right? Uh... I don't really get any of this. It's alright, Konji. You're all brawn and amazing sewing. Don't worry about it, friend. Ugh, this is so confusing! Hey, we could hear you in there. This is a hospital. Maybe you should quiet down a little. Huh, whoops, we weren't talking about anything suspicious. Oh, there you are, all of you. What? The nurse? What's wrong? Please come with me immediately. What? Huh? What's, what's going on? Things can't get any worse. What are you waiting for? Hurry, go! Don't tell me Dojima's hurt. No, you can't lose him too. What in the heck? Where am I? That's a good question. Is this... Teddy's world? This doesn't quite feel like it, though. I remember being at the hospital. That's right. Nana-chan. I... I couldn't do anything. Why do I even exist? I couldn't keep my promise. The poor guy, he already had his, his inner demons he was fighting. They just pushed him over the edge. I lost my reason to be there. That's it. I remember now. So, it was true. Guys, Sensei. What should I do? Come back to us. No, where the hell is he? Like, last time we saw him, he was at Nanako's bed, but he's probably not gonna be there. He's in some weird place now. What? Wait, what? Oh, there they are. Nanako chan came around. You gotta be freaking kidding me. No, I'm very happy we didn't push him in the TV. That would have been the biggest mistake of our group's lives. Huh? What did you just say? Oh my god. Nanako-chan's alive? Are you serious? It's very rare to be resuscitated after one's heart and lungs fail, but it does happen. You said Nanako's tough as nails. She's a trooper. But until I know why she collapsed in the first place, I can't say for sure how well she'll recover from here on. Still, Nanako-chan's a fighter, and she's trying desperately to stay alive. So, so this isn't a joke? You're actually telling the truth? Nanako-chan... Oh my god! I... I... <laughs> This is amazing! If I believed in miracles, I'd say that this is one of them. 
Miracles do happen. I'm so glad. I... I didn't know what I was gonna do! <laughs> Stop crying, you two! You all should go home for the night. We've had constant mental strain. The doctor's right. I'll speak with Dojima-san tomorrow about Nanako-chan's treatment. He's probably gonna be overjoyed about this. It's rather chilly outside. If it starts snowing, be careful not to catch a cold. Wait a second, where's Teddy? That's right, we saw him in that weird place and he's not here. I'm actually a little worried about the guy. I noticed he didn't come with us when we went to Namatame's room. <laughs> You're right, that's weird. I, I figured he wouldn't move from Nanako-chan's side. Teddy, where did you go? Oh yeah, he has a cell with him. Wait, I shouldn't use mine inside the hospital. I'll try calling him up once we're outside. Good idea, buddy. Out we go. We need to go get some rest. That was just an insane day. Or night. Couldn't save. I couldn't save. And that's another thing that bothers me. Couldn't save. I couldn't save. <sighs> why? This just makes me question why we we're going to push him in more. Mayumi, and that girl too, I couldn't save them. Huh? What's the matter? Feeling guilty all of a sudden? Sheesh. Jeez, that cop is weird. Passes right back out. Wish I could do that. Wake up. <gasps> Say something. Pass back out. That'd be handy. Get a lot more sleep too. I can't reach him. Did that stupid bear forget to charge the battery? We took a quick look around the hospital, but there's no sign of him. I wonder where he went. Snow? Oh, it's snow. Hey, you're right. Wow, it's been a while since I last saw real snow. It doesn't look that pretty, though, because of this fog. I guess this makes it the first snow of the year. <sighs> it's freezing. Let's go home. She is right on the money. Let's go home before we catch a cold. Hey, Yosuke, if you find Teddy, don't forget to contact us, all right? I know, I know. Let's meet up at the special headquarters tomorrow. Everyone split up and roll out. Man, that Ted... I hope he just went back home by himself. He's probably fine. But I'll hurry home just in case. I'm actually pretty worried about him still. Well, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, buddy. Oh, they didn't see the cutscene we did. I sure hope so. Nanako's still alive, so I think so. We'll know at some point. That's a good point. Let's turn that on. You can't have those on in the hospital, can you? Oh. It's awesome to be here everyone's caring about us. You made some great friends. That's right. He has some great friends. Anyways, I guess we'll call that the end of today's episode. Peace out, guys and gals, and I'll see you in the next part. Have a great night.